A California jury has heard phone messages Michael Jackson left for Mark Schaffel. Some of them pledge his admiration for Schaffel. Schaffel testified he worked on a number of projects for Jackson, including a charity recording that was never released. Schaffel says he was never fully paid for two videos he made for Jackson and wasn't repaid fully for $300,000 he delivered to Brazil for one of Jackson's personal matters. Schaffel is suing Jackson for nearly $4 million. The tapes are from 2001 and were played at the trial to show Jackson trusted Schaffel with handling millions of dollars. Judy Boisha, The Associated Press. Wednesday, jurors heard increasingly frantic phone messages from Michael Jackson to Schaffel, in which Jackson appears to plead for Schaffel's help on various projects. Mark is Michael. Let's take all-time records, Mark. I want to make history so badly. And I'm speaking from the bottom of my heart. Mark, please, please, please never let me down. I really like you. I love you. I've been betrayed so much by people about a video collaboration with the late actor Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando has been pushing, and he's a wonderful man, he's a god. We have to get this done. He wanted it done before Christmas. He wants a lot of money, and we would own it together. Uh, I mean, I think I feel maybe he's not gonna be living too much longer. That's what it is, I think. Please, Mark, I need that money for the house. The messages were recorded in 2001 and played in court by Schaffel's lawyer to show Schaffel's close relationship to the performer. On another call, Jackson is concerned about a still unreleased recording he made for 9-11 charity project. Let them know that it has to come out now and get Sonny on it and make them into this song at number one. By 2003, the messages sound more urgent, even angry. I don't want somebody else beating us to it, then we come second. Do it now. Do it now. Okay. I really like you. I love you. I've been betrayed so much by people. And um, I want us to really, really be friends and to be, um, to conquer the business world together. USA for Iraq. It's a beautiful thing to do. Okay? We gotta do this, Mark. It's important. You went through all that work. I went through all that work of writing the songs. Mark, we must. Marlon Brando has been pushing. And he's a wonderful man. He's a god. We have to get this done. He wanted it done before Christmas. Put together a business plan. The whole thing is fine for TV. He just want to make a big deal. He wants a lot of money. And we would own it together. We would form our own company.
harmless gamble hit, Brazy started in the anti-Jackson camp. He was approached by Jackson's cook and cleaner, Stella and Philippe Lamarck, with a story to sell. He said, look, we saw Jackson molesting Macaulay Culkin. Well, what did he do? We saw him groping Macaulay Culkin uh, over his pants. They said, we want 100 grand. I got him 100,000 on the table, cash, from the Enquirer. It took me three days to do it, but by then they, they met an attorney and said, look, I can get you a half a million. Forget about Baresi. And this time they said that uh, they saw Michael Jackson not groping Macaulay Culkin outside the pants, but the hand went inside the pants now. Story has got better. The story they embellished and they, they lied, you know, they just lied, flat out lied. Yeah. And I recorded it. Beresi was about to play the classic Hollywood double cross. He went straight to Jackson's camp to a man called Anthony Palacano, who was masterminding Jackson's attempt to kill the scandal by discrediting or paying off anyone with allegations. Anthony Palacano was known in Hollywood as the Sin Eater, so called because he once said, I eat their sins so they can stand on the red carpet smiling. Pelican said, this is going to be very helpful to Jackson. Right. It discredited Stella and Philippe. You've switched sides now. You're like, this could bring Jackson down, but now this could save Jackson instead. That's right. The Lamarck's allegations were now discredited, and Macaulay Culkin has always denied these events took place. 